Complaining's like bad breath. <laughs> you notice it when it comes out of somebody else's mouth. <laughs> But not so much when it comes out of your own. Will did a fabulous job. It's probably the best keynote address we've ever had. Standing ovation, a uh, very positive experience. Everybody left with such energy, so excited, ready to take it to the next level. Ask your wife to make you something else. <laughs> and the first guy goes, I make my own lunch. <laughs> gotten connecting flights for everybody on board except two people <laughs> <laughs> and he calls out the names and the guy in front of me grabs his rollerboard and storms off the plane and I go you make your own lunch all 600 of our employees loved their day with him and what we learned from it. I would recommend him as a keynote, uh, without exception. I was real impressed. He was a tremendous and humorous presenter. He was wonderful to work with. Um, he was easy uh, to get arrangements made with. As soon as I finished doing my segment with Oprah, she leaned over and she said, you know, Pastor Will, which is what she calls me, Pastor Will, she says, I have nothing to complain about. And I thought, of course I, you're Oprah Winfrey, for goodness sake. <laughs> what are you going to complain about? You're one of the, one of the wealthiest, most powerful people on the planet. And I guess my, my poker face wasn't working very well because I went. <laughs> and then she said, you know, it, it's not that I have everything that I have. And that's why I don't complain. Oprah said, I don't complain, and that's why I have everything that I have. You see, Oprah gets that she makes her own lunch, and so do you. So make a decision right now to make that lunch with intention, to not complain about what's going on, but to begin to look at what's going well, and to make that your driving force and make a magnificent buffet and share it with the world. Will you do that? Thank you so much for your time.